And welcome to Conan High School. We're here for the HETV Game of the Week. I'm Jeff Randolph. As the Conan Cougars are taking on the Palatine Pirates. Here for this girls soccer game today. Be sure to stay tuned for our HETV Game of the Week. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to tonight's soccer game being played between the Palatine Pirates and the Kona Cougars. Yeah. Here are the starting lineups for tonight's game. For the Pirates, number three, Carolyn Suko. Number four, Gina Pilato. Number five, Tori Jackson. Number seven, Michelle Raymond. Number eight, Allison Zepka. Number 10, Mackenzie Billion. Number 12, Kelly Reynolds. Number 14, Carly Aiecolo. Number 16, Aaron Meyer. Number 18, Morgan Radke. And in the goal for the Pirates, Rachel Rhodes. The Pirates are coached by Willie Billion. And now for the Cougars. In the goal, number one, Haley Anderson. Number two, Sydney O'Keefe. Number four, Stephanie Duga. Number five, Zoe Shoro. Number six, Drew Wenzel. Number eight, Bianca Madonia. Number 10, Nicole Lorenz. Number 17, Dara Patel. Number 18, Emily Mazurik. Number 19, Rachel Raymer. And number 21, Katie Lomas. The Cougars are coached by Jason Franco and assisted by Jeff Malone, Tim Hart, Mark Davies, and Dan Travers. At this time, please rise for the playing of our national anthem. Okay, we're underway here at Conan High School. 
as we bring you the HETV Game of the Week. Right now the Palatine Pirates have possession of the ball. So the Pirates will be going left to right. The Cougars will be going right to left. Conant's in their white home jerseys as the visiting Palatine Pirates are in their red and gray jerseys. Okay, we have the goalie here who's going to pick up the ball and get it downfield, waiting for her team to reset and readjust here. Gets it to about midfield, four touch by one of the Pirates. Good passing here so far by the Cougars. The defense of the Pirates disrupts that. And we'll have a free kick here for Conant. That free kick is Katie Lomas, number 21. <coughs> Katie kicks it out. It's touched by Rachel Raymer. And here come the Pirates as the Pirates are now moving down. Led the player really well there. Oh, and just a little bit wide left. Excellent attempt there by Palatine. That's number 12, Kelly Reynolds. She's a junior out of Palatine High School. And now the goal kick for the Cougars. Nice strong kick. This Palatine has possession here. Good way to dribble the ball there by Palatine. Pretty tight defense there by the Cougars. So they're looking to bring the ball downfield. It's number eight, Bianca Madonna. Passes the ball to number 18. Emily Mazurik for the Cougars. And now we're gonna have a corner kick here. Bianca Madonia is gonna have the corner kick here for the Conan Cougars. Let's see how the Cougars go on this attempt. It's in the middle. Ooh, it's broken up by Palatine. Good stop there by the Pirates. Katie Lomas kicks the ball out. That goes to number 17, Patel. As Kona gets the ball back inside. Trying to keep control here. Broke up defensively by Palatine. Pirates disrupted and intercepted by the Cougars. Here the Pirates try to go it again. Good job there by the Cougars. Rachel, let's go. Rachel. is going down. Rachel Raymer is the ball, number 19, for the Cougars, who tried to lead her player there. See so she can get that back in. Oh. As Madonia gets the ball in. The Cougars trying to make something happen there, but defensively the Pirates put up a pretty good stance. Let's see if Bianca can get in again one of her players. 
tight defense so far here by the Palatine Pirates. Cougars have a good chance there. Great defense. Very aggressive so far. Palatine is a very quick team here. That one goes out, Katie Lomas. It's the last Cougar who touched that. There's Madonia. Now it's a foot race. Foot race in which the Cougars win. Shot on goal. Oh. Right through Emily Mazurik. The freshman forward for the Cougars. Now we're going to have another corner kick here for the Cougars as they look to capitalize on this. Bianca Madonia is going to get it inside. Let's see how this offensive stance comes in. It goes up. A touch by a Palatine Pirate. Ooh. Great effort. There's the Cougars. Doing a great job of passing that out. Making that defender run all over the field here. There we go. Bianca's dribbling the ball. Ooh, had a nice lead pass there. A little bit of miscommunication there by the Cougars. That's okay, we have a long time to go here in the first half. Because we still have 33 minutes to go. Great move by the Pirates here. Ooh, and some good ball handling there by Sydney O'Keefe from Conan. It was kicked out by the Pirates. Pirate defender, let's see if they can lead the ball here. Here come the Pirates. Ooh, good pass down. Number 12, Kelly Reynolds for Palatine. Couldn't quite get a grasp of that one. All right, as Palatine looks to inbound the ball. Allison Rezepka is going to bring it in here from the side. That one goes up. Well, that's being quick. Great assertive play. Number five, Tori Jackson for the Palatine Pirates. Really gave a heck of an effort right there. Cougars get the ball in. First touched in ball inbounds by Rachel Raymer. Now the Pirates have it down here at the end of the field as they're looking to score a goal. Decent shot on goal there by number 12, Kenny Ruggles. It's met by the goalkeeper, Haley Anderson. She looks to get this pretty far out. Very nice kick as that goes beyond midfield. Nice little added spark here for that Cougar team. So they kick it through. Quite a defensive stance there, but it looks like we have a flag. We're going to have that goal kick. Boom, there it goes. Nice strong kick downfield. And the goalkeeper grabs that one. That's Rachel Rhodes who gets that for the Palatine Pirates. All right, so we're moving it downfield here. We're going to get a free kick for the Pirates. A nice kick there by Morgan Ratke, number 18, Palatine. All right, we're getting ready here. 
As Morgan Radke goes down for the corner kick for the Palatine Pirates. Still no score here. 29 minutes and 42 seconds left here in this first half. The Pirates go in. Big move towards the goal. Oh. Very rambunctious use of the head there. And it goes out of bounds. So we'll get a goal kick here for the Cougars. Number 21, Katie Lomas is going to do the kick here. Let's see how close she can get it to midfield. Nice strong kick. Well, not to Rachel Raymer. She wasn't able to control that one. So now number eight, Allison Ruzepka gets it in for the Pirates. So looking to keep that ball in bounds. Oh, and that did go out. Great effort there, though, by the Pirates to try to keep that one in. All right, there's that goal kicked out. Katie Lomas got it. It's number 18, Emily Mazurik, who kicked it out there. Enough for the Palatine Pirates. They're looking to get the ball in. Allison Rezepka got it in there. Cleared out by Stephanie Buga. Number two, Sydney O'Keefe has the ball. She tries to lead Emily Mazurik. Makes the ball on goal. And there we have our first goal. And that's one nothing, Conan Cougars. So it's the senior, number 10, Nicola Renz, who scores the first goal of the game and puts the Conan Cougars on top here. one nothing. All right, back underway here as the ladies are making things happen. Pirates just volleying the ball and try to set up themselves offensively here, get themselves in a good position. They don't want to be down for long in this one. So beautiful night here tonight too at Conan High School. Oh, and what a save. Excellent job there by Haley Anderson, the junior goalkeeper for the Conan Cougars. She makes sure that her team secures that lead. With that, we're going to have a corner kick. Number 18, Morgan Ratke is going to kick it in for the Pirates. See what the strategy is here. Good strategy it is indeed to get it right in the middle. All right, looks like we're going to get a goal kick here for the Cougars. Number 21, Katie Lomas. Do that. Nice strong kick. It's out to number two, Sydney O'Keefe. Nicola runs the ball in right now. Excellent display of dribbling right there. Michelle Raymond, number seven for Palatine, trying to make things happen here for the Pirates. Number eight, Bianca Madonia going in there. Playing strong. All right, as that one goes in, Rachel Raymer. First Cougar to touch the ball there. We're going to move that one offside here. Pirates get the ball inside. 
correction. That's the a struggle there. Scored by 18, Emily nice shot, uh, we just had a correction there on that Conan girl. It was Emily Mazurik, the freshman, number 18, who scored that first goal. Not number 10, Nicole Lorenz, as previously reported. Number eight gets that ball in. That's Allison Zepka who got that in there. A good way to clear it out there by Katie Lomas, number 21 for the Cougars. And it's going to go out. So the Cougars will have another goal kick. We'll see if Katie Lomas with her strong leg can get it near midfield. And that's indeed what she intends to do. Nice line drive kick there. Met by a pirate defender. All right, the Pirates are going to get the ball in here. Number five, Tori Jackson for the Pirates. Looking to inbound the ball for the team. She's looking to make something happen here. So down one nothing here. We have 24 minutes and six seconds left here in this first half. The Cougars are looking to make something happen again. It's a foot race down there. All right, it's going back for... Palatine Pirates. Ball is set in bounds. Number 10, Nicola Renz looking to lead her person right there. Oh, we have number 19, Rachel Raymer, who's looking to go in there. It's a good defensive stance by the Pirates here. They didn't want to be down by two goals this early on in the game. Good exchange by the two players there. We got this goal kick here. All right. Rachel Rhodes, the goalkeeper, got that one out. Let's see what's going to happen here for the Cougars. <coughs> Number 21, Katie Lummis kicks it out. And just like that to get the ball back in, Allison Rezepka. Rezepka's going to get the ball in again here. Let's see where she places in the field this time. Good read by the defender, number 10, Nicola Renz. 12, Kelly Reynolds there volleying the ball. She tries to get in there to lead it. Goalkeeper will have none of that right now. Haley Anderson gets the ball. Goes with a big kick. Gets it beyond midfield. Nice strong kick. Here come the Cougars again. Great way to dribble the ball. Number 18, Emily Mazurik. Great display of ball handling right there by number 18, Missouri. Into the Cougars, Lauren Raymond and Katie Tokars. We have our first substitutions of the game here. Cougars bringing the ball in. They're looking to add to this lead here. Okay, we'll have a goal kick. Rachel Rhodes, the goalkeeper, will be kicking the ball here for the Pirates. Beautiful night here tonight at Conan High School. About 68 degrees at game time. Playing hard. Look at that defensive stance there. Number five, Zoe Shoro. Really went in there. Ball's inbound by the Cougars here and touched by the Pirates. Now the Pirates looking to make something happen. Here come those Cougars again. Number 10, Nicole Lorenz gets the ball. See if she can handle it. She's doing a good job there. 
Excellent job. Strong defensive stance here by the Cougars. Trying to maintain this lead here. We have just under 20 minutes to go here in the first half. It's a good deal. We're seeing some pretty aggressive play by both teams thus far here. So we've now reached the twilight of the evening. The lights are on. They get that ball in, the Cougars. They're playing strong. There we go, good way to clear the ball out there. Number 18, Emily Missouri goes downfield. Now Palatine trying to make something happen here. Good pass there to lead the player. Okay, and that's number 21, Katie Lomas, that kind of clears it out there. Morgan Racky, number 18 for the Pirates. Touch the ball. We have a few more substitutions here. In for the Pirates, number six, Kira Jacobson. And number nine, Kiera Gavin. So Jacobson and Gavin are now in, number six and number nine for the Pirates. Great play in front of the net there. All right, that goal kick. Okay, Lomas. Making sure to keep the Pirates on their toes. So great pace to the game by both teams so far. Number two, Sydney O'Keefe there. Great ball handling skills. Number 18, Emily Mazurik now has the ball. She's looking to set up her player there. Good job of Palatine to clear that one out. Look at the ball handling the skills here by number 12, Kelly Reynolds for the Pirates. She's looking to take that ball down all the way by herself. One man team. The defenders break it up there for the Cougars. All right, we're going to have a free kick here. Let's see what the Pirates can do here. Looking to make it happen. Morgan Racky gets it in. But nothing on that one. So now we have a goal kick here for the Cougars as Katie Lomas, number 21, will be kicking it once again. Taking the field for the Cougars, number 11, Emmy Gallen. And number 14, Rachel Delanois. So Delanois and Gallen in. For the Cougars. Cougars are on top one nothing still here. So we're bringing you the HETV game of the week. Live from Conant High School. <laughs> Pirates looking to make something happen there. Number 12, Kelly Reynolds. Wasn't able to pull it off. Great job there, too, by number eight, Bianca Madonia. Let's see who wins his foot race. Oh, Pirates kick it outside. 
All right, we'll see the Cougars bring the ball inside here. It's going to go out. Once again, the Cougars will get the ball inside. They're trying to answer their already one to nothing lead that they have here. Right there by the Palatine defender. Taken out again. Right now it's a chess match, folks. Strong ball handling there. Great move by the Pirates to save themselves to save themselves from getting into a bigger hole. Three suit cup for the Palatine Pirates had a hard time there handling the ball. So now the Cougars are trying to take over. Cougars doing a great job over here on this side of the field thus far. Good way to lead the player. That's going to be met by the goalkeeper. Good job there. Haley Anderson comes out to meet the ball. And Anderson with that strong kick that she has. Let's see how far she gets it up past midfield. There we go. Great job by Haley Anderson thus far. Just like that, here come the Pirates. Pirates looking to make something happen here. Oh, there we go. And let's see what Palatine's able to do here. Just to looking to score their first goal of the game here. Morgan Ratke for the Pirates. Where's she going to go? <laughs> Biggest moment so far here for the Pirates. And they capitalize just like that. And we have a 1 1 game. Morgan Ratke, the senior for Palatine. Ties up this contest at 1-1. One, one. That goal is scored by number 18, Morgan Radke. Okay, let's see how the Cougars respond. <coughs> Starting out here, they're still going to play their same fast pace that they have been doing all game. Really doing a good job of passing the ball around here. 21K Lomas gets in that ball. Oh, good job of leading there, but led just a little bit too much. Foot race here too. Haley Anderson gets that ball downfield. That goes out. The Cougars are going to get the ball in. Nice strong kick. Ooh, good job of leading there. With a nice strong kick. Ooh, and a tackle. All right, Cougars, there's their chance as they get the ball in from the corner. Good strong kick inside. Pirates did a good job of keeping that one out. Pretty even 
play by both teams on both sides of the ball thus far. Hence the 1-1 tie that we have with 11 minutes and 24 seconds left here in the first half. Okay, number eight, Rezepka is going to get the ball in here for the Pirates. Nice strong alley-oop throw. Number three, Sukup goes up for it. Cougars are maintaining the possession here. Okay, the Pirates are looking to inbound the ball here. Palatine wants to make a strong move towards that goal of the Cougars. Nineteen, Rachel Raymer gets the ball. Sydney O'Keefe, number two, now has it. She tries to lead it down. Number ten, Nicola Renz has it. Set up her offense real nice. Great pass there. Lorenz scrambles and dribbles. Number 21, Katie Lomas. Who kind of got caught off guard there. Number 12, Kelly Reynolds for the Pirates. Trying to take advantage there. But Haley Anderson's been strong all day. Well, I'm expecting another strong kick for her right now. She gets that ball right down midfield. Great placement. Katie Lomas, number 21, clears that ball out. And we have a couple more substitutions Raymond. here. And Michelle Raymond's coming in for the Pirates. And Zoe Shuro, number five, is coming in for the Koenig Cougars. Number 16, Aaron Mayer, is going to be sitting out for the Pirates. She's going to grab herself a well-deserved drink of water. We're seeing a great pace in this game so far by both teams. Seem to be pretty evenly matched. Great dribbling by number 10, Nicole Lorenz of the Cougars. Oh, there was a small window of opportunity there that could have went a lot differently for both teams, but Cougars are looking to inbound the ball again. Playing it tight are the Pirates if they have been all night on those inbound passes. So Palatine did lose their last contest. They were at Buffalo Grove and they lost four to one and that lost. They get in there. Good way to clear it up for the Cougars. Nice job there by Madonia, number eight. And Rachel Rhodes says the ball. She's going to. Give it a good kick here. That ball's kicked out by Rachel Raymond. Not looking to bring it in. Stephanie Bupka. All right, we have about six minutes and 42 seconds left here in the first half. We're tied up 1-1. Beautiful night here at Conan High School as spring has finally sprung.
Taking the field for the Pirates, number 11, Caitlin Conklin. And number 16, Aaron Mayer. So Aaron Mayer and Caitlin Conklin are now in for the Pirates. As Palatine gets that ball inside. The Cougars trying to strip it away. Strong contest here so far. Zepka, number eight, ends the ball. Brought in. Now here come the Cougars. Cleared out by Madonia, number eight. Cleared out once again. All right, the Pirates are going to bring that ball in. Great job getting it over to Haley Anderson. That strong kick that she has. She gets it to midfield. Bianca Madonia gets it there, and she leads her player. It's one-on-one -on -one matchup right there. Oh, and it was just wide left. Just wide left there for, I believe that's number 19. Oh, correction, that's Emily Mazurik again, who did score the goal for the Cougars to put them on the board early on. There's Emily Mazurk again. Great ball handling. Trying to lead her player there, but it didn't happen. And now Rachel Rhodes is looking at kick the ball downfield for the Palatine Pirates. His time is still ticking away. We have four minutes and 13 seconds left here in the first half. Looking to make things happen there. That was Caitlin Conklin, number 11 for the Pirates. Here comes Palatine once again. Broken up a little bit there and disrupted. Nice strong kick downfield here to break up the offense of the Palatine Pirates. Katie Lomas with the free kick here for the Cougars. Get inside. Good defense by the Pirates to make, make something not happen for the Cougars here. And that's what they want to continue to do here for the rest of this half. Great pace to the game so far by both teams. Both teams playing very strong and hard. Hopefully both teams can maintain this whole fast pace into the second half. Here comes Palatine. Oh. Looks like we might have another penalty kick here. So a lot of Conant fans upset here. Let's see how the defense works it here. Just a little bit too high. All right, goal kick. And here she is, number 21, Katie Loomis, to kick the ball again. And with that running clock, we just hit two minutes left here in the first half. Met by the Pirates. They're doing a good job of keeping that in. Pirates want to score. You know how important it is to score right now for them. And the Cougars do too, and that's why they clear it out. Good defense so far. Zoe Shoro dribbling the ball. She gets it in to number 18, Emily Mazurik. And Rachel Rhodes for the Pirates. 
Doesn't want any of that. She looks to get the ball downfield here. Got a minute and 15 seconds left here. Haley Anderson clears that ball out. She's met by a pirate player out there. Zoe Shoro's in there. She's throwing those dribbling skills. Rachel Rhodes will not have it. And we're under a minute. We're actually 47 seconds left here in the half. Good hang time on that one. Number 10, Nicole Lorenz. Someone here looking at the defender. She wants to lead one of her players. A great tackle by the Pirates here to get that ball out. We're at 20 seconds left here. The Pirates, what are they going to do? They're going to try to play strong defense. That's what they're going to do. All right, Rachel Rhodes grabs the ball again. She looks to clear this one out. And there you go, the end of the first half here. And we're tied up 1-1 at Conan High School. All tied. Very strong display so far by both teams here at Conan High School tonight as this MSL West game is going on. So very strong. Should be an interesting second half. And be sure to stay tuned for that right here on HETV for your game of the week. Okay, we're underway here for the final 40 minutes, also known as the second half here at Conan High School. Tied up 1-1 so far. As the Cougars and the Palatine Pirates have been playing a pretty pretty fast-paced, intense game here. And now with the Cougars going left to right here for the goal. Pirates are looking to clear it out. And that's number 10 for the Pirates, Mackenzie Philly in. They kicked that ball to Haley Anderson, as we saw here in the first half. Haley Anderson is a very strong leg and gets that ball at midfield any time that she wants to. All right, here come the Cougars very early on. And that one goes right in. So the junior, number two, Sydney O'Keefe for the Cougars, gives them an early second half lead here, two to one now in favor of the Cougars. And that's just 53 minutes into this second half. What a great way to second, what a great way to start off the second half here for the Cougars. Now the Pirates, they're going right to left, looking to kind of respond here. Cougars and they're playing tight defense. All right. We'll get that goal kick by number 21 here. Katie Lomas, and she's had some strong kicks as well for the Conan Cougars. So she kicks that ball, working from this end of the field. Good job as you're looking at the Pirates. Going to make something happen here. Pirates want to respond. They want to get on the board here. Good defense by the Cougars. All right, we're going to have a corner kick here for the Pirates. Let's see how they line up here. Nice strong kick in the center. So that goes up. Great way to clear the ball out there for the Cougars. All right, the Pirates are still looking to make something happen here at this end of the field. 
in response to that early on kick by Sydney O'Keefe, which is 53 seconds into the second half that she made. As we're now at 39 minutes and 15 seconds left here in the game. Strong, aggressive plays we've been seeing here all game. Comes a free kick for the Cougars, number 21, Katie Lomax. Set ball down. It's met by a Pirate defender. Here come the Pirates. They want to make something happen. Strong, strong play. Bianca Madonia there. Very solid with the ball. Rezepka, number eight for the Pirates, cleared it out. Now we have number three, Suka. Carolyn Suka. Great way to fake out the defender. She just slows their midfield, throws on the brakes. Waits for her to run right past her. Strong kicks inside here by the Pirates so far. Number 10. Oh, and it goes in. Mackenzie Fillion, number 10. Wow, and just like that. Fast pace still maintained here in the second half for both teams. 35 minutes and 54 seconds was when that goal was scored there. Clock will stop. Let's see if the main intensity maintains here. Twenty-one, Katie Lomax leads her fellow Cougar player. Now they're coming out strong. It's going to be a lot of dribbling. An excellent ball handling so far. Just a little wide right. Good kick. All right, as the Cougars are looking to make something happen here. Number eight, Bianca Madonia is going to kick the ball in. Let's see how the Cougars go about this one. So going strong play inside. Oh, and just missed. Extended kick there. Pirates coming out strong. That ball was cleared up by the Pirates. I look for number 17, Patel, to get the ball in for the Cougars. That's up. Number six, Drew Wenzel. It's the ball. Now number four, Stephanie Buga. Senior. And we move the ball to the other, down to the other side of the field here. Clock's ticking away. 34 minutes and 23 seconds left here in this contest. Katie Lomax with a strong kick. We're almost sure of that. And indeed it is. Nice line drive in. Met by the Pirates. I was going to scramble for the ball. The Cougars get that ball in. Number 18, Emily Mazurik has it. <laughs> Here comes a goal kick. Rachel Rhodes for the Pirates. See how they go about that one. Nice line drive kick. <laughs> Strong so far. All right, the Palatine Pirates are looking to inbound the ball here. 
Ooh, and that ball just meets the foot of a Cougar defender. That would leave the stadium. It sure did. As the ball boy goes out after that. That's okay. There's plenty of regulation balls here as one is thrown inside. All right, we're going to go down to the other end of the field here. Kenny Lomax. Nice line drive kick there. Tight defense by the Pirates. Really a good struggle in the ball there. And good handling there by number 10 for the Cougars, Nicole Lorenz. Excellent ball handling here. She's very aware of the defenders. Oh, and a very good extension there by Fillion. All right, here come the Pirates coming downfield. Trying to make something happen. Still at 2 2 here in the second half. With 21, actually, pardon me, that is 31 minutes and 25 seconds left here in the game. And here come the Cougars. Pirates aren't having any of that, so they're clearing the ball out again. But the Cougars want to stay down at that side of the field. Good exchange of the ball over there by both teams. Blues coming on top of that one. That's going to be the Kona Cougars. Lomax with that free kick. Good ball dribbling. Great way to clear it out to get over, try to get over to the other side of the field. Spent by the Pirate defenders. Great idea to get it over to Haley Anderson. Another strong kick by her. Clears it out to midfield. So great strategy here by the Cougars. So we know the game of soccer is also often described as a game of chess. So there is a lot of strategy and str strategy that is involved here. The Pirates looking to volley and pass the ball around. So that goes out of bounds for the Pirates. Anderson with a line drive kick there. Pirates are looking to make something happen down here. So they've had possession of the ball for quite a while here. Just like that, the Cuckoos are looking to change that. Great way to lead your player. The Cougars are coming down strong. met by the Pirate defenders. So both teams looking pretty good on both sides of the ball so far. Very even play, hence the even score, the 2-2 that we have here in the second half with 28 minutes and 30 seconds left here in the game. Tackle there by the Pirates. Rezepka. They're looking to make things happen down here as they move down the field. Number 18, Morgan Ratke. 
or I'm sorry, that was number 10, Mackenzie Fillion for the Pirates. And that was kicked out, Tori Jackson for Palatine. And brought in by number five, Zoe Shoro for the Cougars. And the Cougars looking to get this ball in bounds. Stephanie Buga. And Katie Lomax clears that one out. They are keeping the ball boys working over there. Now the inbounds for the Pirates. Right on goal, but Haley Anderson's right there. Solid in the goal tonight. So not as strong as a kick as we've been seeing so far from Haley Anderson there, but she was looking for Zoe Shuro, so she was calculated in that weaker kick that she gave. So we've seen her strong leg all night. Cougars getting that ball in. So we sure oh, had it. But now Palatine has it. That's Gina Filato who had it. Ends it Fillion's there. as we're looking to Pirates. Pirates are looking to get the ball in here. It's number five, Tori Jackson for the Pirates. Let's just see where they line up in front of the goal. Strong one inside. Michelle Raymond, number seven, stepped out in her tracks and was able to dribble the ball. Pirates are looking to make something happen here, but there's some very st tight, strong defense played by the Cougars. Oh, that one kind of got away. Cougar ball, so they bring it in. And last touch by the Cougars. Number 10, Mackenzie Fillion will bring it in. Pretty good shot on goal there, but met by a defender. So we're five, Zoe Shuro. Getting a free kick here now. Katie Lomax gets it downfield. That one goes up in the air. Number 12, Kelly Reynolds went in there very aggressively for the Pirates. Wasn't able to maintain control of the ball. We're seeing the great ball handling skills of number 18, Emily Mazurik, once again. She's looking to make things happen. And that's cleared out by Palatine. So we'll see a corner kick here for the Cougars. That's number eight, Bianca 
Madonia, who gets it inside. Good way to go in to intercept that one. Does Rachel Rhodes, the goalkeeper for Palatine. Rhodes looking to get this one out. Decent kick. Comes Palatine. Sons in the defender, number seven. Rachel Raymond got rid of that one. Aaron Mayer, number 16, with the ball. And Haley Anderson with a good save there. And a good kick downfield. So we have 22 minutes left here in this contest as we're still tied up at two. We're going to get on offsides. That's going to be a free kick here for the Cougars. Katie Lomax. Baseline drive kick down. So Pirates send that one up in the air. And the Cougars get it up in the air again. Let's see how long they're going to keep this up. And there's the Cougars. The Pirates are trying to make something happen here. It was number seven. Michelle Raymond for the Pirates. Unsuccessful there. Number five, Tori Jackson looking to bring the ball in. Strong pass. It's met by Cougar defender. Michelle Raymond, number seven, is the ball. substitutions here for the Cougars. Clock is running. We're at 20 minutes left here in the half. Oh, and that one hit the goal post. Second attempt by the Cougars is no good. They're going in there with some reckless of abandoned. That one was kicked over and out. Great exchange there by both teams. Rebounds going to the Cougars a couple times. Had a couple of attempts there on goal. It looked really good on that exchange. Now we have the goal kick here by Rachel Rhodes. The Cougars want to keep things happening down on their end. Here come the Pirates. all broken up. Good job of both teams here. The intensity and the fast pace has been maintained here throughout the second half. Excellent athletic display by both teams here in this game. All right, as that ball is brought in. Cougars. And kicked out once again by the Pirates. The game of chess continues here. Max is going to be kicking the ball here for the Cougars. The 
going to give them some time. Katie Lomax with that free kick. Ooh, goes in there pretty deep. But Matt by the Pirate Defender. All right, the Pirates get the ball inside. But Katie Lomax gets her head in there, knocks it back out for the Cougars. Pirates are going to inbound the ball once again. Going in very strong and aggressively. Going to clear it out once again. Good back and forth here by both teams. 16 minutes and 40 seconds left here in the half. Good job by the Cougars to clear that one out. Cougars are making the Pirates work for it. Pirates know it's not going to come easy. Quite the back and forth in exchange here. Pirates might want to try something different. We got a free kick. Katie Lomax. Gets it down there. Okay, pivotal point in the game here as the Pirates have a corner kick. Let's see how they go about making a goal here. Will they score? A lot of clearing out here. Ooh. Haley Anderson playing solid once again. All right, we're going to have it back down to the other end of the field here. A little too aggressive that time for the Pirates. Oh, she was down there by herself. It was number two, Sydney O'Keefe. Katie Lomax passes the ball in. It's Bianca Madonia. Good way to clear it out there by Drew Wenzel, number six. That's quite the exchange there by both players. Oh, number two, Sydney O'Keefe. She went her hard, but she got right back up. Tough player. Small in stature, big in heart. That's number 12, Kelly Reynolds, who kicks that one up. There's Sydney O'Keefe right again, right back into it. So 
strong pace of this game so far. Number 10, Nicole Lorenz, checks back in. That looks like number three. It's going to be out for the Cougars. Their ladies go again, playing it strong. Quite a foot race here. So crowd wants it to go another way, but it looks like a pretty clean play from my vantage point. But the refs are call calling it still the same. There's that free kick. Katie okay, Lomax gets it down. That one's cleared out by Zebka. Number eight, Bianca Madonia. Just going her strong, got tangled up there with Michelle Raymond. All right, so we'll to get the ball back in bounds here. Palatine is number 10, Mackenzie Fillion. Zoe Shurl. And to the Pirates, Kira Gavin. So Gavin is back in for the Pirates. Cheryl back in for the Cougars. Pirates are looking to make something happen here. Eric Passa goes away. Tori Jackson is getting the ball in there for the Pirates. Pass didn't really go anywhere there. So Jackson looking at the ball in once again. Another throw in. Throw right to the Cougar defender. Cougars are looking to clear it. And there we go. Number 18, Rachel, pardon me, that's Missouri. Give it some time. Ooh, number 18, Emily Missouri. Kind of kick in there. Rachel Rhodes isn't having it. She's looking to clear it out. We got 10 minutes left here in the contest. Still tied up at 2 2 here at Conan High School. HETV Game of the Week. I'm Jeff Randolph bringing you this. Cougars are looking to keep that one going. Pirates clear it out. Clock is ticking. The clock keeps ticking and the action keeps on going. And that one goes out. Last touch by the Pirates. So the Cougars will bring the ball in. And with that throw in, are they able to make something happen? They're definitely going to try to. Number two, Sydney O'Keefe is out there. Oh, and met by the Pirates. That little series of Pirates have been there right in front of the ball. The shot's on goal. Now there's a foot race. Number five, Zoe Shuro was in there. And the Pirates clear that one out. So look for the Cougars to try to make this, make the most of this here on this end. Pirates doing a great job on defense. Both teams are doing a great job on defense. Hence the 2-2 two -two tie. And Rachel Rhodes. So we call a goal kick, and she's going to be kicking this downfield. Nice line drive kick. Philly in there. Running fast, trying to keep up with her is Zoe Shoro. 
A lot of Cougar defenders there. Good way to strip the ball. Hopefully now things will happen for him. Wow, very strong as number four, Gina Filato, went in there. Good way to clear it out there by Zoe Shoro, number five for the Cougars. So Pirates look at inbound the ball. Going strong through the Pirates. The Cougars clear that one out. I believe Mazurik, fastball handler. Oh, couldn't just quite take that down all by herself. Job. All right, Haley Anderson's going to have the goal kick. Oh, I'm sorry, that's actually going to be a free kick here for the Cougars. Sort of looking to stop the clock here as it was running. So there's a yellow card that is called the coaches over here for the Palatine Pirates. <laughs> Can't let frustration settle in at a tie with a 2-2 two -two tie here this late in the game. So we'll get a free kick here for the Cougars. Twenty-one. Katie Lomax is going to be doing the free kick here. comes out, is able to make, maintain control, even though it looked like she kind of fumbled it a little bit. Let's see what kind of kick we get from Rhodes out here. Pretty solid as that goes past midfield. Michelle so number seven, Michelle Raymond's in for the Pirates. And number 16, Erin Mayer is going to grab herself a drink of water. She gets out here. All right, Cougars are inbound on the ball. Cougars clear it out. Pirates doing a solid job here. See who wins this foot race. Yeah, it looked like she was tripped up there. Okay, from the side, we'll see the Pirates here. That free kick. Solid play. So that one goes out just wide. Katie Lomax. It's a kick that was met by Shuro. But now number seven, Michelle Raymond's trying to make something happen here for the Pirates. 
And that was cleared out. Good job. Great defensive stance there by the Cougars. Now they're looking to bring the ball in once again. Here are the Pirates. And it's Rezepka who's looking to throw this one in. See how hard and solid she can get that one in there. Little Aaron and the Cougars kick that one out. So we'll be getting a corner kick here for the Pirates. See how they move towards the goal and how they go about this one. We've got three minutes and 20 seconds left here in the half. Strong and caught. Great job by Haley Anderson. He's been very strong in goal tonight. And with time ticking away, Cougars are looking to make something happen. Pirates doing everything in their will to stop them from maintaining possession of the ball. Tight defense here so far. And that ball goes out of bounds. Pirates looking to bring the ball in. I met by one of the Cougars. Looks like we might have a player down there. Okay, Cougars have a free kick here. Let's see what they do here. I'm sticking away. We're at two minutes left here in the game. Oh, pretty solid kick. Oh, and the rebound was kicked just wide right. So missed opportunity there by the Cougars, but they're maintaining possession. So trying to keep it inside there. Rachel Rhodes wasn't able to handle that one, and on the second attempt, it went ride wide right. Try saying that 10 times fast. And it's a foot race. Cougars come on top on that one. Number five, Zoe Shuro. Okay, that's a red card for the coach. A minute four left. Red card is an ejection. So a little display of uh, frustration here in the 2-2 contest with a minute and four seconds to go. That's a Cougars number five, Zoe Shuro. Gonna get that ball in. Pirates playing it pretty tight. Oh, good kick in by the Cougars. Rachel Rhodes had to go up top for that one. Here go the Cougars. They're trying to make this interesting.
Both teams back and forth. So we're down to 25 seconds here left in the game. Haley Anderson's going to kick this one down. It's an almost a midfield, pass midfield. Pirates letting that one go in. That one goes out. This ball gets in. Pirates are looking to make something happen here. And that's it. 2-2. Two -two. One heck of a contest here tonight at Conan High School. 2-2 two -two tie. Two ten minutes sudden victory overtime periods with two minutes between periods. Okay, so we're gonna go into overtime here. After these two sudden victory periods, the tie will stand. So we're gonna go into two ten minute periods here. After those two ten minute periods are over, if the score is still tied, the game will end in a tie. So stay tuned here as we will be giving you a lot more action here for your HETV Game of the Week. It has been exciting thus far. Do not turn that dial, as they used to say back in the day where there were indeed dials. Here at HETV, Game of the Week. Okay, as Ed... As regulation has ended, we're at a 2-2 tie. And we're going to start the first of two 10-minute quarters here in overtime. HETV game of the week here, Conan High School, as Conan Cougars are going against the Palatine Pirates. And the Cougars are going to be going right to left here. So Cougars are looking to score. Very intense, aggressive game so far. I've seen a coach from the Palatine team Get ejected here. And some good defense on by both teams on both sides of the ball. So Cougars look to strike here. Great leading pass. And that's number 18, Emily Mazurik, who's trying to make something happen here. Ball is cleared out by the Pirates. Last touch by the Pirates there. So the Cougars are going to inbound this ball once again. So a little bit of back and forth with the inbounds, out of bounds here. The Pirates get the ball in. And the Pirates will bring the ball in once again here as they're trying to move downfield, move closer and closer to scoring themselves another goal here to hopefully break this tie. Great play by both teams so far. This will be going back down the other way again. The Pirates bring the ball in. Just looking to keep the ball across midfield. Missed opportunity there by the Pirates. Good defense by the Cougars. Ball's being volleyed there. Nice strong kick downfield. That's number 10. Philly and for the Pirates who got that one down there. All right, we're seeing some good play by both teams here so far. All right, a throw in from the side. We have number eight. Rizepko is going to get it in. Great shot of leading there. Rachel Raymer, number 19. Oh. So there was an offsides called. Terrible 
Lancaster with a 2-2 tie here. Tension mounting amongst the fans and coaches for both teams. Haley Anderson goes out to kick the ball. Let's see another one of her strong punts downfield. Gets across midfield there. There's number two, Sydney O'Keefe. Quite the exchange there. Okay, the Pirates are going to. Pirates are going to look to make something happen here. We have number 18, Morgan Ratke, kicking the ball in. Maintain possession. All right, five minutes left here in this quarter. Five minutes and 12 seconds, actually, as we still have the running clock in the overtime quarters. Still tied up at 2 2. All right, we're going to have a, a quarter kick here for the Pirates. Let's see how they line up here offensively. And it was met right out there by Haley Anderson. Solid play here by the Cougars. She's able to lead her. Oh, there we go. Sydney O'Keefe. Oh. Quite the collision there. It's a lot of momentum carried the ladies forward. Just wide left. A missed opportunity by just a matter of feet. Just like that, the Pirates are looking to get the ball back down to the other side of the field. Cleared out by the Cougars. Great call by Katie Lomax to get that one out of bounds to break up that fast break that was happening there for the Pirates. And now the Pirates will get the ball in bounds. This game of the week has not been a disappointment thus far. Great contest on both sides of the ball by both teams. Continues. So now with a pick inside, Radke, looks like we might have another yellow card call here for Conan. Both coaches have been pretty heated thus far in this contest with the 2-2 two -two tie. So we're going to get the yellow card here. Officials there just explaining his case, stating his case. Really hoping for no more ejections here in the game. A huge opportunity here right now. suit the Palatine Pirates do here. So they're going to be pretty calculated in their move here as they know it's pretty important for them to score a goal right now. Momentum could shift. Hey, 
Kaylee Anderson kicks the ball out there. There was contact made. She was in the zone. Cougars. It's a fight by both players down there. So when time keeps ticking away here, we have two minutes and 40, make that 35 seconds left here in the first quarter of overtime. Still tied up at 2-2. That one's cleared out. Ball kind of goes there. And that looks like we have an offsides here called against. Kona Cougars, much of the dismay of all the fans. There's been a lot of questionable officiating here in the game. Pirates looking to make something happen. Nothing becomes of it. Clock ticking away here at a minute and 24 seconds. So we have a goal kick here. Conan Cougars. Kenny Lomax is going to get the ball downfield here for the Cougars. Cougars are looking for a prime opportunity to, to score, as both teams are right about now as we're in overtime. Cleared out by the Pirates. Cougars are looking to get that ball in quickly. Two defenders, Sidney O'Keefe, swiftly trying to make things happen here. Oh, and that one just kicked a little bit high. What a good job there by Emily Mazurik for the Kona Cougars. So Rachel Rhodes with the goal kick is gonna to try to make something happen here. As the time keeps ticking away, we're 30 seconds left here. In this first quarter of overtime. So solid play here. Pirates looking to clear it out. And they finally do. That goes out of bounds. Ball gets in pretty quick. As the Cougars are looking to bring it in. Got three seconds left here. And we're going to be going into the second quarter of overtime with 2-2 tie still. So we'll have two minutes in between the, the quarters. Here in your HETV Game of the Week, I'm Jeff Randolph minutes, we'll from Conan High School, bringing you Palatine and Conan. Okay, we're just moments of getting started here for the second of the two overtime quarters here, the final quarter. As we're tied up 2-2 here at Conan High School as the Conan Cougars are hosting the Palatine Pirates. It's been a tough matchup so far. We've seen one ejection and a yellow card for the other coach here as well. So one more yellow card for the coach and he'll be ejected too. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. So we're looking to get underway. The Cougars will start out with the ball. So the Cougars are making, looking to make things happen here as they're going left to right this quarter. Strong defensive stance there by the Pirates. Pirates looking to inbound the ball. And the Cougars give it away one more time. Number five. Jackson gets the ball in. Number seven, Michelle Raymond there. She gets a good kick. Great stop there by Haley Anderson. She's had a great game thus far in this game in the net. 
Now the Cougars looking to strike here again. Got a great ball handler here. If she can lead her player a little bit, Richard Rhodes comes out to meet it. Isn't having anything of that. It's pretty solid kick down the field. Gets past midfield here. So Pirates are looking to strike here. Great foot race and good defense there by the Cougars. Doing a good job of throwing them off their game. Number seven, Raymond now for the Pirates has the ball. That one goes up. Haley Anderson will probably see another one of her strong kicks down here. She gets that pass midfield. Great job by Haley Anderson. And the Cougars are looking to maintain possession here. They know the deeper they can get into the pirate zone, the better off they are. And the better chance they have of scoring a goal. Great ball control by both teams here. And there's an offsides. So we'll have a free kick here. It's Katie Lomax, number 21, for the Kona Cougars. Going to kick the ball downfield. to make things happen. Number seven, Michelle Raymond. Right there. Good job by the Cougars defensively. There we go. Haley Anderson is waiting for her team to get downfield here. This time still ticking away here in the second quarter of overtime. Six minutes and 30 seconds left here in the game. Doesn't allow for that one to go out of bounds. Look at the Cougars to move things and make things happen here. So looking to get set up. Led kind of perfectly. Oh, it cleared out by the Pirates. The Cougars, is that one in there? Oh, that was just wide right. Got a nail biter here in the second quarter of the game. Rachel Rhodes looking to goal kick this one away. That's touched by the Cougars there. So the Pirates will inbound this one. So looking to make something happen here. We're about halfway through the second quarter of overtime. Good job by the Cougars here. Trying to clear this ball out. Now the Pirates finally kick it out of bounds, so the Cougars will bring it in. All right, here come the Cougars once again. Both teams are trying to play both halves of the field. All right, so we're going to have the free kick for the Pirates. It's number 18, Morgan Ratke, who's going to be kicking the ball. The Cougars were able to clear that one out and clear it out against some more. Good kick. Rhodes is way out of the goal there. So with four minutes and 13 seconds left here, in the second quarter of regulation, we're still tied up. 
Last touch by the Cougars. At number five, Tory Jackson's going to inbound the ball for the Pirates. Ball gets in. They're just looking to move things a little bit closer to. Goes out. So now we'll have a kick here. Once again, we have Katie Lomax kicking the ball down. Solid kick, goes out of bounds. Palatine with throw in. Looking good, playing great defense here are the Cougars right now. Two minutes and 56 seconds to go here in the second quarter of overtime. Okay, the Pirates trying to get the ball in here. Not much met with that. So met by some pretty solid defense by the Cougars here. Time is ticking away, folks. We have 2.10 left here in the second quarter. So the Pirates get the ball in. And the Cougars stick with it. So we're going to get a free kick here. Oh. Missouri, number 18, is in there. a little wide. Now we're going to goal kick. Rachel Rhodes will be kicking the ball here for Palatine. That one goes up and the Pirates. All right, so moving downfield. Oh, cleared out by the Cougars. And we're under a minute here, folks. We have about 55 seconds left here. Pirates looking to get that ball in. Oh, cleared out by the Cougars once again. So we got 35 seconds here left. out again. So we have 12 seconds left here. With that ball going out again and with the time ticking away, it looks like we're going to end here in a tie. It's 3, 2, and 1. There we go. So here at Conan High School, So we go through two quarters of overtime and still end in a 2-2 tie here at Conan High School as the Cougars and Pirates gave it their all tonight. Both teams played a very straight, very fast-paced game, and we even saw a coach get ejected tonight here on your HETV Game of the Week. So for myself, Jeff Randolph, and the rest of the staff here at the HETV 
broadcast this evening. We'd like to thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for future games of the week here on HETV. Have a good night.